Hi, so Pete Eden Jones, North Devon sitting MP. Uh, what do you think about this election and the sudden, suddenness of it came as quite a surprise to some people? Well, it was certainly a surprise. We weren't expecting an election. But Theresa May decided quite rightly now, in my view, that there was too much uncertainty at Westminster. We just didn't have the certainty of being able to pass the legislation that we need at the end of the Brexit process to make sure that in the run-up in the next two years, Theresa May has the strongest possible negotiating hand. The Labour Party are frankly all over the place on their views on Brexit. Their leader doesn't really know what he thinks. The Liberal Democrats, I'm afraid, said that they would grind the business of government to a halt if they didn't get their way. And their way is to try to reverse the democratic will of nearly 60% of the people of North Devon uh, and not to leave the EU. So none of that was something that we could have as the backdrop going into these negotiations. So what Theresa May has said is, let's have a general election, let's in the national interest get a strong mandate for a government that can go and negotiate in Britain's best interests over the next two years. And locally in North Devon, will you, what issues will you be campaigning on? Well, my main message to North Devon will be twofold. Firstly, I'm going to say the only way we secure a Conservative victory with Theresa May as Prime Minister is to return a Conservative MP to Parliament from North Devon. If you vote any other way in North Devon, you risk waking up on the morning after the election and seeing Jeremy Corbyn on the steps of Downing Street. And I don't accept that the upshot of this election, the result is a foregone conclusion, the opinion polls appear to show the Conservatives way ahead, but we've seen before how wrong opinion polls are. There is a real danger of Jeremy Corbyn leading a left-wing coalition government after this election, which will be awful. So my first message is return a Conservative MP, return me, and we'll have Theresa May as a strong leader. I'm also proud to run on my record of the last two years. I've dealt with more than 7,000 individual residents in North Devon. I've visited hundreds and hundreds of events and organisations in North Devon and I am strongly fighting for North Devon in Parliament. As recently as yesterday I was in Parliament standing up for our hospital services. So I'm proud to stand on that record and the record of the Conservative Government and Theresa May. Okay, and traditionally uh, North Devon has been a Lib Dem stronghold until you overturn that with a majority in the last election, a, well, a substantial major majority. Uh, do you feel this time round it will be a close contest? Or? It's always a close contest in North Devon and we don't take anything for granted. It was quite a big Conservative majority last time, but I need every Conservative supporter to come out and vote this time. We mustn't take anything for granted. I'm never as sure as some people say that this was ever a real Liberal Democrat stronghold. If you look at the voting figures at some of the elections going back even 50 years, going back to Jeremy Thorpe's time, some of those Liberal victories were by extremely narrow margins. And we had a Conservative MP in North Devon for the whole of the, the Thatcher years, for instance. So I think the extent to which it's a Liberal stronghold has been somewhat exaggerated. But look, I take absolutely nothing for granted. This will be a close-fought contest. But what I'm going to do is what I did two years ago. Be positive. I'm not going to be personal. I'm not going to be negative. I've got a positive vision for North Devon and a positive vision for Britain with Theresa May as Prime Minister and that's what I'll be getting out on the doorsteps and trying to convince people of between now and Election Day. Thank you. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add to tell local voters? Well, I suppose the main message is this is a really important election at an incredibly important time for Britain. We are negotiating an exit from the EU. I'm absolutely convinced that the right person 
to do that for us is Theresa May and only she can provide the strong leadership and the strong negotiation that we need and in the national interest she needs a strong mandate in the House of Commons to be able to deliver that. We only get that by returning a Conservative MP from North Devon. I'm proud to have been and privileged to have been the Conservative MP for the last 23 months. I've worked extremely hard for North Devon. I've stood up in Parliament on so many occasions to fight our corner on a number of different issues. I dearly want the opportunity to continue doing that. And I would appeal to people to think very carefully in this election. Who do you want to see on the doorstep of Downing Street when you wake up on the morning after polling day? It's got to be Theresa May. The alternative is too awful to contemplate. And the only way we assure that is by voting Conservative in North Devon. That's my message. Peter, thank you very much. Pleasure, thank you.